Ah, uh, the F3 screen. Everyone's least favorite button to press. You're trying to watch a Minecraft video on YouTube, and all this data is just getting in the way. But it can be useful data. You can see right in the corner there, we have the version number, your frame rate, the chunk updates, chunk, and entity information, where you're currently located in game, where you're facing, the biome you're in, the light level, the difficulty, as well as a plethora of other information involving your computer. But did you know that there are some secret commands that you can press while in the F3 screen to access additional information? Well, you're about to find out. What's going on guys, log.zip here, and welcome to a list of 10 secret Minecraft commands, all involving the F3 option on your keyboard. Now, if you didn't know, you can press F3 to toggle all the information, assuming you're on a computer, of course, this won't work in the Pocket Editions, and maybe not in the Windows 10 Edition, I'm not too sure. But on PC and Mac, you can press F3 or Function plus F3 if you're on a laptop to access all this amazing information. Now, there are a bunch of shortcuts, little keybinds you can press in conjunction with each other to access even more information that a lot of you guys probably don't know about. So I'm going to show you all 10 in this video as well as explain what each one does. I hope you enjoy this little list. If you do and you want to see more lists on the channel like this, please do drop a like rating on the video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into things. This first one I want to show you is F3 plus A, and it is a simple reloading of all chunks. If you press F3 plus A on your keyboard at the same time, you will reload all chunks in game. You may have been in a situation where chunks aren't loading for you. You've just gone way too far, your computer is not keeping up with the different chunks, and something along this may happen, where your chunks just aren't loading in properly. You'll see yourself slowly floating towards the ground. In this case, mine loaded in pretty fast because I have an all right computer. But if for whatever reason you just can't get it to load properly, then you might want to consider pressing F3 plus A. It's going to allow your computer to refresh and load up all those chunks once again in a manner that's going to let it all load faster and possibly more efficiently. And it's a lot easier than restarting your Minecraft or, you know, even worse, your computer if it's not up to par. Number two on this list is F3 plus B. Now this one is pretty useful. This one will show you hitboxes. Now hitboxes are the boxes in which when you're trying to strike something or something is affected, whether it's by redstone or otherwise, it needs to be within the hitbox in order for it to work properly. F3 plus B will show you the hitboxes of all entities. This includes mobs and items. So for example, this is the hitbox of the ender pearl right here and this is the direction that the ender pearl is technically looking you can see on the enderman here wherever the enderman's eyes are facing that is the direction he will begin to look and not only that but you have one as well and if you move your head around fast enough you can actually see your character <laughs> ever so slowly the blue line tries to keep up with the direction your camera is in now I want to show you a crazier example of this we're now here on Mineplex and now we're gonna do F3 plus B so you can get an idea of what it might look like with a bunch of people around so even the little chickens the skeletons the works everything that is an entity whether it's an item or a mob or armor stand anything that is an entity I don't know what I just said <laughs> is going to have its own hitbox displayed as well as the direction it is looking. Super useful for determining if your sword is going to strike, if an arrow is going to hit, because let's say you had an arrow and it hits right above. If it doesn't hit the hitbox, you're not going to be connecting that hit. Hit within the hitbox, you're going to have a bad time if you don't. Oh, this is going to be fun. Number three in our list of F3 commands is going to be the ability to cheer cheer clear chat history so i have just made a big mistake of telling them that everyone they all want to be in a video i hope i hope anyways <laughs> so we're gonna see what happens here you'll notice we got the chat window open now if you were to press plus i can't talk today i'm the worst if you press f3 plus d it will it will clear all chat history you'll notice it's completely gone it's all gone f3 plus d will clear all chat 
Now, I don't know if that's necessarily super useful to a lot of you guys, but for someone like me who tries to make sure there's no foul words or chats being shown that should not be, it's, it's valuable. You see? Boom. 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 All chat is cleared every time you press F3 plus D. Not bad. Oh, yeah. Subscribe, nubs. <laughs> Number four on this list is F3 plus H. As you can see, we currently have a various assortment of different items that all either have durability values or have data values associated with them. You can see we have an empty map, armor, weapons, tools, even a nice little carrot on a stick. Now, upon pressing F3 plus H, you're going to notice that not only these items, but all these other items are going to come with an assortment of additional and, in my opinion, very useful information. So we're going to go game mode zero right now and spawn in a couple of our spider friends. We're going to take them out. Okay, we might need to change difficulty first. <laughs> we'll do that. And now we're going to just take out our dear friend here. Hey, man, don't do too much damage to me. As you can see, our weapon is now damaged. Our armors are now damaged. We've got some damaged tools here from mining up this beautiful area. And of course, we're going to spawn in our pig friend in half a moment so I can show you exactly what F3 plus H is going to do for you. But not before I axe this guy. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to let him hit me a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Come on. Yeah. Now you're dead. We're going to spawn in our pig friend, give him a nice little saddle. We're going to ride him. And we're going to break down this awesome. See? You can see. The durability is now there, but you can't tell how much durability exactly is left. Even on this map here, we're going to load up this map and you're going to see all it says on it is map eight. Well, F3 plus H is going to make everything more enlightening for you. Now, didn't press it properly. <laughs> now, you can see way more information such as the scale of the map, AKA the level at which it is zoomed in or out. ID numbers and information, durability counts. You can see the carrot on the stick is currently at an 18 of 25 durability. When your object is only at a zero durability, and we're gonna try and get that down with the pig right now. Ooh, it's getting there, it's getting there. Come on, little piggy, come on, little piggy. Now we're at a durability of 11. Now we're at a durability of four. And, come on, little piggy. You can see, if we can get it down to zero, that would be ideal. Otherwise, I'll show, oh, you see, it kind of got used up a little bit. Oh, almost there. When it's at a durability of zero, that means it has one more use. Now, unbreaking enchantments will allow durabilities of diamonds, iron, st basically anything you can apply unbreaking to is going to change the way durability works. Normally, it is one swipe per. For example, durability of 56 out of 59. We're going to kill our trusty steed. I'm sorry, didn't want to, but that's just the way it happens. You can see we're now at 54 after two swipes. Durability of 0 out of 25. One more use with this baby, it will disappear. Same with armor values. You can see the exact durability and know exactly how close your tools are to breaking. Finally, you can even go into creative mode and you can see the item names. As you see, Minecraft Gold Ore, Gravel, we have spawn egg you have book these are the things you would want to type in if you were to slash give yourself anything for example a command block that is what it shows right there command block or give at p wool boom wool that is what you would type in upon having f3 super super useful information i almost never play minecraft without f3 plus h Number five on this list is F3 plus T. Now what this will do is it will reload your texture and resource packs client side, i.e. single player mode, in case you happen to be editing them while in game. Maybe you are a resource pack Arthur. Arthur. I can't talk today. It's just, it's the stress of trying to make an informative list. Okay, whatever. F3 plus T is going to allow you to reload your textures without having to reload Minecraft. So we're going to go ahead and press that right now. And you're going to see nothing at all changes. The game freezes for half a moment and it reloads all the textures involved. However, what we have here is Photoshop loaded up along with the painting resource that you just saw all over the walls here. So I am just going to very quickly pick out a nice little pencil tool. And as you can see, I am quite the artist. So we're gonna save this image. 
we're going to take updated said image, add it into the current resource pack folder, and kiss all these lovely paintings goodbye. Because once you see we press F3 plus T, <laughs> textures have now been reloaded. And you can tell <laughs> things don't look quite as nice. But they do look updated. Number six on this list works in a very similar way to F3 plus T, and this is F3 plus S. This will reload things server side as well. So if you are experiencing issues with any server textures, or in this case, custom models, if you press F3 plus S, it will rectify those issues. In addition, I unfortunately was not able to replicate this, but every once in a while, you may notice your Minecraft sounds just aren't working, even though all your sounds are on. Maybe your volume just turned all the way down, or maybe not. But if you are ever in said situation, whoa, free goodies? <laughs> whoa! If you're ever in a situation where your sound effects aren't working and you can't hear awesome explosions like that, pressing F3 plus S will also reload all sounds involved, so you don't need to return off your Minecraft and restart it all over again just to get your sounds working. Number seven of the F3 keys is going to be F3 plus Shift. Now, upon pressing F3 plus Shift, you will notice, boom, you're going to have some extra information here. The game renderer, root information, stream, tick, sound, executables, pre-render errors, render, all these different things that are showing different amounts of information involved with what's going on. Again, most of this information is going to be fairly not useful for you, but it's going to be there for someone. <laughs> and I don't know what the heck it's saying. You might. Number eight on the F3 list is F3 plus P. And this is the automatic pause when you lose focus in Minecraft. This is an insanely useful one if you happen to have any mob grinders in your Minecraft world. And you feel like AFK. You need to AFK, you can't pause because obviously everything stops when you pause. But maybe you need to go run some errands. You want to make sure that everything runs nice and smoothly while you're doing other things. You know what I mean? Maybe you're on your computer, you just want to handle some other stuff, let it AFK, let it do its own thing. But, you'll notice when you press your Windows button, or just try and leave the menu at all, normally, I, I had it enabled already, <laughs> normally, this will happen. Pause will pop up, you won't be able to do anything. You try and escape the window, it's not going to work. Maybe you need an automatic fishing farm, and the only way to do that is to have your full menu open without you typing have the window open like this. It's a good way to do that. F3 plus P is going to take that autofocus away so that when you activate it, you can literally leave the menu. My mouse is moving around even though I have nothing. I'm not locked into the Minecraft window right now. So you can see, we're gonna, let, we're gonna kill all these mobs and we're gonna let them slowly start to siphon back into my grinder and not have to worry about staying paused within game. Super useful. Most effective use is going to be an AFK automatic fishing redstone device, but you may have some uses of your own. And if you do, I want to hear about them. Number nine on this list is currently only available in the latest snapshots, i.e. Minecraft 1.9. If you're not in Minecraft 1.9, this F3 command will not work. The command though is simple enough. It is F3 plus N. Now you'll see there's a nice wall in front of me and I really want to get through it. But I really don't feel like typing game mode 3. Spectator mode. Well, with F3 plus N, you're going to see F3 plus N switches you between spectator mode and creative mode. Boom, 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 boom. Now you don't have to spend time typing away to switch between spectator mode and creative mode. Super, super useful. Will allow you to no clip instantly. Maximize your workflow efficiency. You feel like going through a wall? No problem. You feel like going back to create milk, grab some block? No problem. Go back through that wall? No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. The final F3 command on our list is an interesting one to say the least. It is F3 plus C. And it will cause your Minecraft, you ready for this? To crash. Yes! There's literally a command that crashes your Minecraft. It's supposed to be for debugging purposes, mostly for the developers, I imagine, but it is in here. Now, it works a little bit differently. You press F3 plus C, nothing's gonna happen. I'm doing it right now, nothing's happening, you see? The key 
is you need to hold it down. So we're going to hold down F3 plus C for 10 seconds. Probably four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I don't know. We're around 10 seconds in. And just like that, you can see something. Oh, you see? We just crashed. I'm now back on my desktop. It's a clean desktop, by the way. There's not a single icon on this desktop.